What's going on guys, Off The Brain TV here, bringing you another video. So I wanted to do an impressions, or I guess a little bit of a review on Metal Gear Solid's fifth installment, The Phantom Pain, and why I think it's worth you either considering or going to pick it up if you haven't already. It's really shaping up to be one of my favorite games, so let's get into it. So far, Metal Gear is shaping to be the best game of the year, or one of the best, and it's definitely one of the best games I've ever played, like I said but it's most certainly the most detailed and polished of the Metal Gear series. In typical Hideo Kojima fashion, he's messing with our minds from the jump. And I'm not talking about the freakish aliens, creatures tormenting us in the beginning of the game, but the character creator. Yep, that's right. Right after spending an unhealthy amount of time as I usually do being a perfectionist and perfecting my jawline, we find out we don't even play as this created character and then you realize you can edit him anytime. Damn you, Hideo. Besides excellent animations and graphics, the opening scene has you on the edge of your seat, with its mashup of mind f**ks. But the game doesn't truly flex its strengths until it opens up in Afghanistan. This is where Metal Gear Solid truly shines, and where I'm currently exploring what this Game of the Year contender has to offer. Everything from customizing your base, your helicopter, upgrading your arsenal, selecting your loadout, recruiting soldiers you just choked out, all the way to saving puppies, it would be easier to find something you can't do in this game. And boxes are back. Yep. On to the story. It's good so far with the cutscenes definitely there and enjoyable, but not as forceful as they were in the past. I don't feel like I'm sitting through something drawn out instead of playing, and once I'm in the open world, it gets even better. It's also full of nostalgic characters with well-executed music that gets you hyped as it climaxes into a close-up. Very different, but most certainly very well done. The progression is smooth, and while it can feel a bit overwhelming at first, calling for help on something you don't understand is, is quite easy. However, there is little to no hand-holding, with optional objectives even on the first mission being blocked out, with question marks. It's up to you to figure out what to do usually based on tidbits given by Asalat's chatting, and as for the missions, well, they feel more like quests, as the world feels very open. It's up to you to go directly to them after selecting your drop-off point a la helicopter from Mother Base, or veering off on horseback to do side ops before heading to your main objective. But again, your main objective is whatever you make it. Combat is equally engaging with a myriad of ways to take out your target, incorporating day and night cycles and balancing it with how efficient your enemies can see and the advantage you have as a player with more visibility. Some takeouts are necessary to complete with optional objectives of a mission, but you must sneak to achieve an S rank, as all missions are completed based on an efficiency rank. Not only does this add to the replayability, but you can't even get an S rank when you do all the optional objectives, as some require killing. Doubling or tripling the desire to replay the most basic early missions. Sneak carefully and wipe out the militia, snipe from afar with the silencer, knock them out with the silenced sleep dart pistol, go in guns blazing, or choke out your enemy interrogating them for other enemy locations, the location of some goods, and or the location of a mission objective. Then you could put them to sleep, sending them off to be turned to one of your recruits at mother base, Or you could just snap his neck for quick gratification. Yeah, so awesome. Back at Mother Base, you can actually practice all these moves on your recruits for no penalty, raise your morale, or even take a shower cleaning off the blood of your victims. Yeah, this game has it all, and it's definitely worth the purchase without a doubt. Whatever 
whatever supplies you need. Just let us know. So that's about it guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked my impressions of Metal Gear Solid 5. If you haven't picked it up, hopefully this video helped you decide whether or not. And if you already have the game and you want to share your opinions or your review, definitely put it in the comment box as well. If you like videos like this and you want to see more, let me know what game you would maybe like me to review or talk about or give my impressions about. And I'll definitely consider uh, doing it for our next video. I know this is a little bit of a new series or a new thing I'm doing with the game. So, you know, the more feedback, the better. And you know, as always, hit that like button, go crazy on it because it really helps me out more than you think. I know I say that a lot, but it really does. And hit that red subscribe button if it's your first time here. And as always, I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.